Hello, this is Craig from Ultra Real Assets. I thought I would give a little product overview of a fun little tool that I like playing around with. Uh, it comes with the Adobe uh, Creative Cloud Suite. So if you have that, you already have this program. It's called uh, Fuse, which is a, uh, it's meant for creating video game characters or characters for your uh, animations. And uh, it, it's a really fun little tool to mess around with. So what I've done is I've loaded it up here. And to start with, all you have to do is simply start selecting parts and it will assemble it together into a character. For example, let's say I want to make a male character. I can start by selecting, say, the head and it will generate a head. And uh, you have the option of going in and adjusting all these, all these details. In fact, uh, you can go through and uh, so you can see you can actually start changing these parameters just by dragging things around and uh, let's see if I can actually get something to change here or you randomize and make the, uh, the changes it's almost like a, almost like a video game where you're customizing a character oh that's that's very odd he's got a very unsettling shape to his head I like that all right, so from there, you can just end up going back to assembly and you can pick a body. And uh, in this case, uh, let's try this large body here. Uh, yeah, the skin doesn't, it's very interesting the way it merges the, uh, the skin tones and stuff. In fact, I want a different body on this guy because I don't really like the way it put together. Let's go back to torso. Let's grab this male fit torso. Yeah, that, that seems to, to fit a lot better. Uh, let's give him a leg. Give him a uh, the male fit leg. All right. And then let's give him a uh, male skin one arms. Don't know what that is, but we're going to give it a try. Ooh. Yeah, he's got some weird discoloration going on there. Let's go back to the arms. Let's do the male fit arms. All right. Now, as I said before, you can go back and you can customize all these elements. Like I can move his nipples around and uh, make them fatter if I want. Make him look like me. There we go. <laughs> That's terrifying. <laughs> Woo! Yeah! Alright, well, I, I gotta put that back because that's, that's terrifying. Nope. Oh. Oh, we can randomize all of them and get something really strange. <laughs> oh, I love it. I love it. Alright, so there we go. There's gonna be our dude. Alright, so, and then you can add clothing. And uh, the clothing actually conforms around the body, which is really neat. You can make him a cop. And then uh, you can go in and adjust. Uh, this, this whole system uses uh, substance, so you can go in and adjust all these textures with a lot of different settings. So you can make it really customizable. Let me give him. There you go. That's, that's priceless right there. That's awesome. All right. Uh, and then we can go to uh, bottoms. Oh, this is wonderful. I love it. All right, uh, let's give him some shoes. Tactical boots. Perfect. <laughs> uh, I want some. I want some. Uh, some glasses. All right, we're gonna give him goggles. Ah, uh, yes. <laughs> he dresses exactly like I do. Sweet. All right, so uh, I'm going to save save this. Uh, it, when you save it, it's just going to save it as a uh, an assembly file. They call it, you know, which is just you know, it's a project for this program. So we're going to call this dude, and then uh, you can save to Mixamo. Originally, this was a Mixamo product, not an Adobe product. Uh, what's cool when you save it to Mix Mixamo? Uh, I'm going to call it dude. And then we're going to save it. 
It's going to upload it to the Mixamo website. What's cool about uploading it to the Mixamo website, it applies an auto rig to it. It already knows how these characters are all laid out and it creates a customized rig specifically for it. So now you're seeing mocap applied to this character already. Pretty freaking cool, huh? All right, so once you've got that in there, I'm going to view my asset. Okay, and then uh, I'm going to queue a download. Queue my FBX file. T pose is fine. I'm going to queue the download. So here I've brought the file into Unity. Now, by default, it's got some weirdness on it. Uh, it is already set up for the Mechanum system by default, so you don't have to worry about that. Uh, you'll notice that the uh, materials are kind of messed up. You do have to do some kind of processing, like, uh, for example, I would take and go into the materials and select all of them and change it from the transparent shader to the opaque shader. That'll uh, fix a lot of the uh, alpha sort order issues. And, uh, you know, sometimes the textures don't turn out exactly as you expect. You have to go back and do a little bit of, a little bit of work to clean things up in some places. Like I've seen the eyelashes not come out right and stuff. Uh, but it's pretty cool that you've got a character that's already set up for Mechanum and, and looks pretty darn good.